I'm Pat Coleman from D3Football.com, and I'm here at Knox College with Eureka's uh, offensive uh, tandem, or part of the offensive tandem today. The quarterback, Sam Durley, and the uh, wide receiver, Jordan Kindred. Sam, uh, congratulations. You are now the Division III single-game passing record holder with 736 yards this afternoon and 352 passing. Wow, right? How does it feel? This is Jordan's first year. I was trying to develop a relationship with him early on the field, and I just I can't be more happy with what we did. Because you had 736 yards, and you needed every single one of them to uh, come back and uh, win this game here. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, that offense did great. Defense got a big stop at the end. Now that's just what we needed, and now we go going to uh, Saints Velasco to play conference champs next week, and this is really great game. So I'm excited. Jordan Kindred, 13 catches for 235 yards. Uh, not bad for a basketball player. Welcome to football. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I just, it's my last year. I'm just trying to have fun. Uh, I like all the guys on the I like playing. How much, how much organized football you played before this season? I've never played in my life. I'm not in high school. That's what, I, that's what I was hearing. Um, and i got to be honest with you, uh, Sam, it looked like uh, I think one of the things that uh, Coach Barth told me about you guys in the preseason was that he said that you liked to throw the deep ball, but he really wanted you to focus on checking down more and throwing the shorter and intermediate routes. It looked like that worked for you today. Yeah, I think it did, because especially with the athleticism, you know, Jordan has all the receivers we have on the outside. I throw a seven-yard hitch route to him when they turn into a 20-yard run. So, you know, everything Coach Barth says is pretty much always right, so I guess he just wants the offense was the uh, was the big story here this afternoon, obviously. But the defense came up with three crucial stops after I think after not uh, after not uh, stopping Knox at all all afternoon. In the last three possessions of the game, they got you guys involved with all that. How that feel? All, I, I came up to him in one of the huddles and said, if he gave us one stop, this thing is over because our offense was really Our defense got one stop and then led to another stop and then led to the last. Okay. Sure enough, it'll warn you, it's not always this easy. I understand that. I understand that. I'm out here having fun. This is a lot of fun. What was the, uh, the, the thing that, uh, that it struck you most about playing in an actual game rather than practice? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a little faster out here, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I was kind of amped up. A little nervous at the beginning, but after having the first series, we got we went a three and out, and then we came back on, and everything really calmed down, so I think we uh, took care of it. Sam, I will pass along any message that you want to send to Samira Me from Menlo College. That's, that's, yeah, sorry, but that's a great accomplishment for him. That's an awesome record to have. I had no idea I was going to hear that. So. so records are made to be broken. Sam Durley, 34 for 52 passing for a Division three record, 736 yards. Jordan Kindred in his first game as a uh, football player on any level. 13 catches for 235 yards. I'm Pat Coleman from Knox College and Eureka with the 62-55 win.